rest in the truth of God's word. John chapter 17 and verse 17. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. God's word is truth. God's word is our anchor. God's word is our foundation. We can stand on God's word knowing that the truth of his word will never change. And so we can rest uh, in the truth of his word. Psalm 89 verse 34. My covenant I will not break nor alter the word that has gone out of my lips. So God has promised that he will always keep his word. Whatever he has spoken, you know, shall he not do it? Shall he not complete it? He is a God who watches over his word to have it done. And no word that proceeds from his mouth will come back to him void. And that is the assurance that we have when we stand on the word of God, when we lean on the word of God, you know, that is a, a, a very strong fortress for us. Things may change and shift uh, in, in different areas of our lives, but one thing is for sure that God's word will stay put and God's word will accomplish what God has intended for us in our lives. So uh, this day, I want to encourage us to be rooted in the word of God uh, and pull out scriptures uh, that concern various aspects of our lives. You know, we could be going through sickness and uh, in that case, we can meditate on scriptures that talk about how Jesus uh, has paid the price for our healing and how we, through the cross, uh, have experienced that healing power of God. Now we can continue to meditate on scriptures for deliverance. We could continue to meditate on scriptures of victory, uh, of conquest, of wisdom. And the word of God will impart that grace and strength into our being. Uh, and we know that God will accomplish his purposes as his word is etched on our hearts. Uh, and uh, today I also want to encourage us, you know, it's not just enough to meditate on the word of God, but let the word of God go deep into our being. Uh, let it pass from just being knowledge, but let it translate into the faith in our hearts. And when the word becomes faith in our hearts, you know, we can rest in the word and the word will become our declaration. We can go ahead and pronounce and declare the word uh, over every aspect of our lives. And like the psalmist, we too can say, in our challenging situations, we can say, you know, I will not surely die, but I will live and I will declare the works of the Lord. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, O oh God, which is a strong anchor. Father, we pray that you will give us the grace to be rooted in your word, that you will take us deeper in your word, O oh God. And Lord, that your word will become a declaration, God, rising from our hearts. We thank you for doing this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.